path and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Last week I uploaded a video where I talked about my experience in looking for universities and today I'll be sharing my process of becoming an international student including the timeline of each step. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Initially I started thinking about applying for international studies back in February 2023 but I was overwhelmed by the amount of preparations and sacrifices that I needed to put in to realize that plan. So I put it in the back burner for a while then. Basically, there are four steps to the process. Number one is to prepare the documents. Number two is to send in your university applications. Number three is to accept the offer of admission. And number four is visa application, which includes medical examination and the biometrics collection. First and foremost, you need to prepare all of the necessary documents for the application, which includes the university application forms, which you should fill in. Then after submitting your application to the university, you wait for the response, which usually takes about a month or so, depending on the university that you're applying to or your personal circumstances. So once you receive your um, offer of admission, you can proceed to pay the first semester tuition fees to accept the offer. Then after the payment, you receive your COE or Certificate of Enrollment, which, requ which is required for the visa application process. Also, if your offer of admission does not include Overseas Student Health Cover or OSHC, you should apply for it separately before pr proceeding to the next step, which is the visa application. Um, so for the visa application, you need to undergo a medical examination and provide biometric information. Then after completing it, you'll await the approval of your student visa. So for your reference, this is how my timeline went. I had my AECC online consultation with Gail last August 6, 2023. Then I started preparing my documents after that. I requested files from my previous school, like my TOR and course description. I also prepared my CV and resume. I also filled out the application forms. I also took the IELTS exam back then, but I was a point short for my speaking band score, so I had to retake, but I opted for PE instead, which I passed. Then, after that, I submitted my WSU application on August 14, 2023, and got my offer less than two weeks after. Then on the 1st of September, 2023, I submitted my application for UOW and UC and got my offer letter after six weeks. SCU, on the other hand, goes to me. I tried to reach out to them, but they just told us that they're currently dealing with a large volume of applicants, something like that, and that my application will be assessed as soon as possible. I gave it until the end of October, but they didn't send us any update anymore. Anyway, I have decided already to take my offer from UOW back then. So I paid my first semester tuition fees, including my OSHC, and got my electronic COE four days after. Then we started my visa applications. My agent asked me to do the up upfront medical examinations first before actually launching the visa. And after the visa launch, that was when I was requested to do the biometrics collection. After that, it was just all waiting for me. To be honest, the whole process was really nerve-wracking and actually scary, especially since I wanted to be um, successful after one try. We were putting in a lot of our money and time on this, and I didn't want that to go to waste. So during the university applications, I remember actually checking my email every single day for updates regarding the application status. Even when I applied for the visa application, I also checked it a lot, you know, the IMI or immigration app, um, website. I actually checked it like more than a hundred times probably. Uh, and I know this because they actually send me an email application every time I open the account. So I got like more than a hundred email notifications that I was opening through email account. And that's how anxious I became especially as the commencement date was approaching soon. 
because I applied for my visa two months before my actual commencement date. So I was really stressed. <laughs> Thankfully, it was successful. So yeah, here I am. And I think that's it for the video. Best of luck to you. Ingat ka lagi. Till next time. Bye.